about three or four officers from the River Grove Police Department. They're decked out in their colorful uh, crossing guard uniforms. So they're doing something on this corner. Let's find out what they're doing. Unfortunately for them, one of them gave me a ticket the other day. Though I did deserve the ticket, I'm not fighting in a court. So I am not mad at him. Though I did deserve it, I was on his turf. Today he is on mine. Let's go. It was Lurch, the guy with the sunglasses on that gave me the ticket. So let's see what uh, our public servants are doing here today. Let's see what the mission statement is over here. Let's see. Wait until they see the guy with the camera coming up. They don't, they don't recognize it yet. Real relaxed mood. They haven't caught on yet. We're getting closer. They haven't. Oh, one of them caught on. Oh, two of them. Look. Now they know. Now they, they know. They're spreading the word. Here it comes. Here it comes. What's up, guys? What's going on today? What's the mission statement here? What are we doing? What's going on? What's going on today? What are we doing? Okay, so we're set up here, and then you radio it to who? Are you, are you just flag them down? I'm sorry? When they're stopping the red light. Oh, so if they keep on going, you just let them go? If they're not stopping, we're not jumping in the middle of the traffic. Yeah, I would, I would hope not. Don't do that. Because then you'd be causing more, uh, more of a problem than you'd be trying to commit, or trying to help, right? What's your badge number, sir? officer? What's your name? And uh, your rank? Sergeant. Sergeant. I understand that, sir. We're River Grove. I would hope you'd be now operating outside your district. What's your name and star number, sir? 67. What is it? 67. And uh, what was the last name? Arno. And uh, your, what's your rank? Officer. Officer. Sir, what's your name and rank? Patrolman, I guess. Okay. I'm just going to stand here and... Uh, 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 videotape my public servants in the course of their duties. Uh, like I said, I'm going to stand over here and videotape. I don't know, this, this is the smartest way to do this operation. Kind of standing on the side of the road just looking in. Seems like this would be more dangerous than it's worse. <laughs> so I guess they're just going to jump out and, and wave them down, get their attention somehow while they're driving past, and uh, I don't know that this one was thought out thoroughly. I don't know who came up with this plan, but this one was definitely not thought out fully. I've not seen a seatbelt uh, stop done like this before. Usually they have a gentleman posted here and then another one down there with a radio to them. But these gentlemen look like they're just gorilla, gorilla ticketing, where they're jumping out in traffic and saying, uh, you don't got your seatbelt on. But you got to get revenue somehow, right? Better view down here. I think they're mad at 
bullet him, so he's going to try and divert me away from the rest of them. <laughs> Did not work. Did not work. Oh, another one that showed up. I really do not think this is... I, 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 I honestly feel like this is just like... The most... Inane sense of tax dollars being used. Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. Who came up with this idea? Make sure your seatbelt's on. I know, you're doing your thing. Yeah, yep, I do. Don't worry, these guys are on foot, they'll chase them down and catch them. <laughs> they're, they're, they're running at the speeders and anybody on their cell phone or anything in, of the nature, of that nature. I have yet to see anything happening. They're literally just walking back and forth, laughing and talking to each other. Nothing has happened. Oh, they're waving at people too. I thought it was the first day of school. I thought they were crossing guards. I honestly thought they're standing on the side of the road and they're going to jump out and ticket somebody. There's got to be, somebody's got to write a book on how to do this. Like some real police department's got to teach these guys. Because I, I can't say, I can't see that this is the best way to do it. Surprise, here's a ticket. How many numbers we got so far yet, uh, officer? He claims he doesn't know. There's a difference between not knowing and not disclosing, so I don't know if he's not paying attention or they don't have any. Uh -oh, what happens when the bus is not wearing a seatbelt? The bus guy's not wearing a seatbelt. The guy on the bus is not wearing a seatbelt. You know, the guy on the bus wasn't wearing a seatbelt. driver wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Okay, let's go back over here. Let's see. What do city employees um, ticket other city employees? Let's see. How you doing there, buddy? Yep, doesn't have a seatbelt on. Not at all. Not at all. Does not have a seatbelt on. Not one bit. <laughs> and he did not, they did not give him a ticket. Oh, here we go. So when you're a city employee, you don't get a ticket because uh, Pace is run by the city. Oh, he's reaching into his car in traffic. There is no, there's no, there's no lights on. So the light turned green. He was reaching into the car while the light turned green. No emergency lights. Nothing. They're literally causing more, more, more of a traffic problem than they're 